Beautiful out there, Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota, seeing just a, uh, a normal summer afternoon where things are hot. And of course, hot air holds more moisture and also that hot, that heat, that's that instability that could cause for us to see a few strong storms later this afternoon. So again, this is what you're looking at. Of course, New Smyrna's way up there, but what you have is Orlando, Daytona Beach there. That's where you're seeing that heavy rain push its way in. That's a flash flood warning that they have. It expires here very shortly because you see the heaviest rain now moving its way in and that low is going to track right across the state expecting that to move across and to move back offshore as we go throughout later on this evening and that's where we're expecting the potential for some tropical development we'll talk more about that here in just a second but right now and really regardless of tropical development this isn't going to change because this is what it's bringing to us it's all about the impacts we're all so stressed and worried about this getting a name it's not doesn't change anything it, it's going to rain we're going to see that heavy rain just like we did yesterday. Today it's going to be a little bit more to the north. That is the track of the low and up to the north of that is where that counterclockwise circulation brings that onshore for that heavy rain. It's going to be offshore tomorrow. We get a shift of the wind for the next couple days. It's going to be out of the south. So again, still expecting that heavy rain. The good news is is when everyone's off for the weekend, that's actually looking the best. So the weather impact alerts for today and tomorrow for the widespread storms for today. It's from 4 to 10. It's going to be a little bit earlier tomorrow and not as widespread, but still lightning, flooding and gusting winds is going to be the big potential as we go throughout today and tomorrow. So there's that heavy rain. There's that low pushing its way across, and that's when we get that shift of the wind, and that brings that tropical moisture up into our area. And again, unfortunately, right during the heart of that evening commute is where we're going to see the potential for the heaviest rain here at 9 o'clock. Again, 10 to 11, we'll see everything pushing its way offshore. Nice start to tomorrow. Could see a stray shower, but again, calm. And then tomorrow afternoon, that flow is out of the southeast because again, that low is pushing its way away. We get that big broad circulation and depending on the strength of that, we could see maybe a little bit more moisture. That really be the only difference is that we could see those tropical that tropical moisture still streaming its way through because we're still expecting it for Thursday, a little bit more east southeast for Thursday. And you can see again some heavy rain potentially again for that evening commute. So it's going to be adding up as we go throughout the course of really the next three days. So today is the better potential of seeing some of that uh, flash flooding. So again, heavy rain, this is about a 15% that we can see anything within 20 miles of anything shaded in yellow that we can see that flooding. See how it goes down over the course of the next couple of days, more isolated and expecting widespread another two to four inches of rain over the course of the next three days. Flood watch is in effect for much of the area until 8 p.m. this evening. Again, that's when things will start to wind out. Grounds are saturated off to that heavy rain we got yesterday. We did see again that 10 inches of rain in three hours in far eastern Hillsborough County. So we got a flood warning. This is Alifaya and Lithia. This goes until 5 p.m. on Friday. This is the little manatee at Waimama. This goes until Thursday at 1024, and that's the Horse Creek, the one I told you about yesterday. That one goes all the way until Saturday. It's just going to take a little while. All three of these are expected just to barely minor flooding for them to go over their banks. So if you're in those areas, be careful for that. Again, we have this potential once this moves back into uh, over water, which be the Gulf tonight into tomorrow. And look at that track heading right to, towards New Orleans. And that's what we're expecting. So again, that's the shift of the wind. It moves its way to the west and then makes a curve as we go throughout your Thursday evening into Friday and we'll push its way onshore. We'll just see if we get a name next name on the list will be Dexter. Nine